What is up nerds? This is Crash here with part two of my tutorial on clipping. If you haven't watched the previous video, please go do that now as I will be referencing concepts discussed there. Uh, as with the previous video, this tutorial is assuming you have at least a basic knowledge of hammer, so don't ask me questions about how to make brushes. This video will cover the different ways to check a map for clipping exploits, which is just another way of saying this video will be on how to find exploits in maps. First, we'll take a look at the clipping on my map Glassworks here in its current state, beta 7. Uh, by the time you see this, it might be in the next version, or it might still be here, so I might be showing you exploits on my own map. Uh, as you can see, when you load up a map, as I'm assuming you have been working on your own map, you'll know this. Um, it's a bit hard to see with all the different viz groups turned on. Um, these are my hint brushes, these are my player clips, these are everything. Um, I hint a lot, so I tend to have a lot of brushes blocking my line of sight. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna turn off all of our tool textures, and while we're at it, we're gonna turn off the sky as well, uh, because I always feel like that's a lot easier to see, and as long as you have everything sealed up, it's not really necessary to have that on anymore. Uh, but we're going to look at the clipping. So we're going to turn the clip brushes on. So as I'm working on a map, I try to keep an eye out for any exploits or perch points higher up on it. Um, now I already know where a couple issues are, so I'm just going to kind of show you some techniques I use while I'm making a map. Um, first I turn on collision, uh, the show collision model wireframe button up here, the CM. We'll turn that on and you see the little yellow outline pops up. Um, and I make sure my tool brushes, clips, player clips are all turned on. Um, and I just kind of fly around and look for anything jutting out weird. Um, like you can see right here, if it's purple, that means the collision is turned off. So those kind of things we don't have to worry about. But if it's yellow, those are the key ones that are actually, uh, you know, providing collision on the map. So I can show you up here on this side. You can see there's this tiny little brush sticking out. That's a perch point. That is something that currently exists in the version of the map um, that I have released. A demo man, most likely, or a really good soldier who's good at uh, doing rocket jumps, could hop up here, get on this little edge, and that's pretty powerful, especially as a, a demo man. You can just sit there and lob your stickies, and no one's going to look up there. Nobody looks up. Players are just like dogs. That's one thing to keep in mind. There's a mapping tip for you. Players are dogs. They do not look up. <laughs> However, this isn't the best way to look for clipping issues or exploits or anything like that because, you know, with the, with the transparent brushes, it looks a little confusing. Uh, as everything starts overlapping, it's like over here, I don't know what's going on over here. As you start getting to more complex areas, it's kind of a mess. So the best way I've found is to actually look in game, which we'll hop over there now. Okay, so now we're in game. Um, there's a few magical commands that I like to use. Um when I'm checking for clipping. The most important one you turn on is SV Cheats 1 at the start. Um, but then we're going to turn on the clipping brushes themselves, which is R, draw, clip brushes, 2. Uh, if it's 1, everything's kind of this outline, that's no better than checking in hammer. So we're going to go R, draw, clip brushes, 2. Um, as you can see, it's these nice purple brushes with shadowing and everything like that, and you can really get a sense of what's sticking out and what's not. Um, but now like we have stuff, something like this where it's a prop it's not going to actually show if it has collision on it so we're going to turn on that which is vcollide underscore wireframe 1 and you can see there's nothing sticking out there so there is no collision on that brush that's not an issue that however right there is an issue I didn't know about that one so yeah, there's, <laughs> there's a little exploit right there I just found doing this tutorial. Um, as I showed you before in Hammer, this is that little lip. That's a place we can stand on uh, in-game. Now, you can see the, the, the blue here, like I showed you before in the previous tutorial, that's the collision of the wall over here. So now in here, you can kind of see where I have my clipping and what is being blocked off and what's not. Uh, for example, this is something that I completely forgot to clip. So all the way up here, you can get up here on these beams, you can get up on this prop. Um, there's a lot of places you're not supposed to be up here. So that's something I have to clip off in the next version. Um, don't exploit it, please, if it's not updated yet. So we'll hop in as Demo Man, which is usually the easiest one. I already got my, my jumper equipped. Quick tip, MP waiting for players... MP underscore waiting for players underscore cancel one gets rid of that waiting for players at the beginning. Um, like as you can see, 
Let's see if I can do this first try. Of course not. God damn it. Oh! Okay. So yeah, this isn't the spot that we wanted to exist. And it does. So that's something that I have to fix. And let's go look at that little lip that we saw in Hammer. Okay, so there it is, way up there. Let's see if I can do this in one try. Oh, oh, I hit it. <laughs> As you can see, it's, it's a lip. It's a place that someone could get stuck up on and exploit the hell out of my map, and that is just not cool. So that's something I need to fix as well. I'm going to get up there, damn it. Okay, we're going to make it this time. Yep, 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 yep. Yeah, okay. So, yep, there's another perch point. That is a bad thing. So now we're going to go to an official Valve map, and let's go see if we can find some exploits. Okay, so here we are on Badlands, a very popular map made by Valve, as I'm sure you know. A map that's played in the competitive community. Uh, you know, you would expect this map to be pretty sound. So let's go see if we can break something. Again, we'll turn on V Collide Wireframe 1 and our draw clip brushes 2. So, something like that, actually, that little ramp, that's actually possible. You could get up there and you could hold yourself possibly at the top of this. So, I think that might be a little bit of an exploit right there. Uh, but I want something juicier than that because that's the, the ramp thing is kind of iffy. Sometimes you can hold yourself up, sometimes you can't. Um, that isn't solid, that's a prop. Let's see. I feel like... Yep, this is something actually. I've seen this one used. Uh, you can hop up on this little ledge right here. So that's nothing new. We need something new. Let's see. What else do we got? Oh, that, that's actually not mirrored. I bet I could get up on top of that. Oh, yeah. I could definitely get up on top of that. I don't think that's mirrored on both sides. Nope. Come on, Valve. What's the problem? Okay, so we're, we'll check into that. We'll check the skull... Um, let's see if there's anything on this side. All these things you can get your head caught up on. That sucks. Um, this is a little bit too low. Those aren't anything. Let's see. Oh, my God. I bet I can get up on something in here. Oh, yeah. Look at this. Look at all these spots. I could so get up here. On these? Oh, Valve. Say it ain't so. Okay, so this is... Let's go demo. And let's see if it's actually breakable. That's the, that's the key part. Sometimes something looks like you can get up there, but you can't. I feel like I shouldn't be able to get up here. Maybe it's too tight. Oh, no. Oh, my God. Look at this. So, yeah. As a demo, you can get up here. <laughs> you can spam your stickies. You can watch the point. Let's see if I can get somewhere that can actually watch the point better. I wonder if I can get up on here. Whoa! Oh, that was waiting for players. Oh! I think I can get up on that. This side might be better. Yep! Look at that! Okay, to be, to be fair, I can't shoot onto the point directly. Um, and I know there's one up here, too, as well, because they didn't actually extend this prop. This one's a lot of people know about, though. So that's, that's nothing new. Oh, wow. That would, that would be collidable, too. You could stand on. Let's go check that skull, because that's the one I'm kind of curious about. I forget what side it was on, though. Right here. Okay. Yep. So, a quick jump. It looks like just the horns. Perhaps. Oops. Now, I did it the first time, but never do it again. That looks like about the whole thing. Because that was just the base of it. Can I stand up fully? Anyway. So, yeah. That, that's another point that's not on the other side. On a official map commonly used in the competitive community um so you know sometimes things get through let's see about this Oop, a little too fast so yeah 
you get that annoying whooshing sound, but I'm up here. You kind of you're you're surfing right now, but but yeah, so that's that's kind of a, that's a couple exploits on Badlands. Okay, so now that we've found an exploit, what do you do about it? Uh, the important part is to use this power for good and not evil. Uh, <laughs> if the exploit is on your own map, obviously. Um, you just fix it, which I'll cover in the next tutorial. Um, kind of different ways to go about fixing them. Uh, there's a few different methods. Uh, but that'll be part three. Uh, if it's not your map, if it's a custom map, give it a quick Google search and see if you can figure out who made it. Um, if it has like a tf2maps.net thread, leave a comment there. Uh, or try to contact the mapper directly through Steam. Um, a lot of mappers are really accessible and people don't expect that. So if, if it's a Valve map, there's there's a couple different ways you can do it. You can send an email out to them with a screenshot, but there's actually in the game itself, you can go down here. Uh, my HUD, I think it's not, I think this is the same, but uh, report a bug. We'll take a screenshot. It took, takes a screenshot of exactly where I'm standing right now. Oh, that's my phone. And we go through the menu here. We'll say it is a gameplay strategy problem. I, don't, I honestly don't know what I'd put here. Yeah, we'll go gameplay strategy problem, and we'll go clipping exploit on Badlands, and then Valve, please. And it's optional, you can put your email in here or not. I don't, it's not a big deal. Um, and you hit submit, and it submits the bug, and Valve should get it. Uh, maybe it'll get updated eventually, maybe it won't. Maybe I found something new, maybe they've known about it forever, and it's not that big of a deal. So like I said, make sure to use this information for good and not evil. You know, I'm, I know you're going to go abuse some of it. That, that's a given. I got to try things sometimes. I've abused things on my own maps before because it's funny. But just make sure you go out of your way to try to provide the mapper who created the map feedback because very few people go out of the way to go to the person who can actually fix an issue. And this is common with servers and forums and everything like that. Like There'll be a problem and the person who can fix it will not know about it because everybody just assumes they know about it. So if the, if you're not sure, just go send a message to the mapper. It'd take five minutes out of your time. Go do it. <laughs> Be cool and go out of your way to give feedback to the proper people. So anyway, this concludes the tutorial. Part three will actually sit down with Hammer and I'll show you how to fix some of the exploits you find in a few different ways. Uh, if this tutorial has helped you, be sure to hit the like button and make sure to subscribe if you aren't already to catch part three.